Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badgerworks. Today, this. Uh, <laughs> this is a kit uh, that's obviously already been finished and broken. Uh, it came to me uh, via a house clearance. Uh, a chap who lived locally uh, who was a very keen modeler, although albeit not particularly talented, uh, passed away unfortunately. And um, it, when they went in to clear out his house, they found a whole bunch of model kits. Uh, which were donated to a local model society. Uh, there were also hundreds of kits that were already made, and the guy, uh, the, the model club weren't interested in them, but um, I know quite a few of the members, and they know I do a lot of kit bashing, so they got them and they gave them to me. Um, the reason I've got this one out is because I'm going to do a little experiment. Um, I want to try something. I... I um, I bought something recently uh, that I'm hoping is going to save me a lot of money. Um, one of the things I've been looking for recently is uh, a, a, an inexpensive polishing compound. Um, because the cheapest I can find, like the Tamiya stuff, is like £12 a tube, and I'm not paying £12 a tube for it. So I'm actually going to use this to do a little experiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to varnish this, and then I'm going to polish it, and see if this polish works. So that's why I've got this out. Um, I'll show you the polish. So this is the polish. It's actually glass polish. Um, and uh, it's uh, an oxide uh, in, a, in a medium. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I have tried it on some plastic and it seems to work quite well. But I want to try it on a model and see if I can actually use it as a, a cheap alternative to polishing compound. Um, so let's varnish the model, give it a few coats, let it dry and then see if this will actually polish it up. So for this experiment I'm using um, Humbrol Clear. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny this stuff. People, I've, I've had lots of people say they don't like it, that it doesn't dry clear and all the rest of it. I have had no problems with it at all. Um, I have no affiliation with Humbrol. It's, uh, it's just this is quite easy for me to get hold of. My local uh, hobby shop supplies it and they sell it quite cheaply. So I use it and I really don't have any problems with it. The only issue I've had, which I think is common with all varnishes, is it doesn't necessarily give a particularly smooth finish, um, which is hence for the polishing. So yeah, uh, I've got the brush loaded up with this. We'll give the model a spray and we'll see how we go. So that's the first coat. I've given it a fairly heavy coat, um, probably a bit heavier than I should. Uh, I'll let this dry, I'll give it another coat, and then once that's completely dry, we'll look at polishing it. So here's the model with a couple of coats of uh, varnish on the wings. And um, you can see it's, it's quite glossy, but it's not particularly smooth. Um, one of the reasons I chose this model to, to test this on is because this was brush painted, so the paint is not smooth anyway. Um, so it's like a, a double whammy of, of the paint not being smooth to start with. Uh, and the varnish does tend to go on a little bit patchy sometimes. Um, but now we'll set this aside, leave it to dry for a day or two, and then we'll have at it with the uh, polishing compound. This varnish is dry now. But as you can see from the light reflecting off of it, it's not particularly smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some of this compound and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I think it's doing something. Definitely doing something. Um, let's try using the polishing wheel on the Dremel. Yeah, that's definitely made an improvement. 
if you look at the, uh, the difference in the wings now, you can see this wing is a lot smoother than this wing. You can feel it as well. I mean, obviously you can't feel it, but I can feel it. Um, yeah, that has actually made a big difference. You can see this wing is still kind of patchy and blobby. Um, this wing is almost like glass. So, um, yeah, that's worked really well. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so, yeah, might be a, a cheaper alternative to, uh, you know, modelling compounds is this glass compound. Um, hmm. I think I'll uh, have to work on this a bit more and see what else I can come up with. So, anyway, uh, I hope this has been of interest to you. It's certainly been very useful for me. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.